Hello everyone, welcome to Code Black's YouTube channel. In this video, I will be guiding you all with a very useful tip in order to connect a 16x2 LCD with only two pins. So I hope this news is very very exciting for you. So using this method, you can save your pins for other input output modules. So let's jump into the video. For this purpose, we are going to use the pins PC0 as the synchronous clock pin and PC1 as the synchronous data pin. So when you purchase uh, at Megachip, you can see for the SCL and the SDA pins of your chip in your data sheet. So that will help you to identify those pins and use for this purpose. And we are going to use an extra module to this connection. So the module we're going to use is PCF8574 I2C interface with 8-bit mode. So in this, you can connect your LCD pins to this and with only two pins, you can connect the, uh, this module with your microchip. So basically, we saw the chip we're going to use. It is an I2C. So what is an I2C? It is an inter-integrated circuit. In the other term, it is also a small microchip. What we're going to do is, we're going to use that microchip as a slave CPU for our master CPU at Mega32 to do certain steps. Using this, we're going to send some data into this chip and it will assign some tasks to LCD. That is basically the concept which we are using here. Now, let's look onto the connection of this setup. You all can see the LCD panel here and the Atmega32 chip and our PCF8574A I2C module. So let's look on to the connection. We are connecting the RS pin of LCD with I2C P0 and enable pin of the LCD with I2C P pin 1 and LCD D4 to D7 is connected with I2C P4 to P7. So basically it will be an easy connection method and in this mode our LCD is working in 4-bit mode and we have to ground the pins starting from A0 to A2. We have to connect the SDA of I2C with the SDA of Atmega32 chip which is the pin C1 and we have to connect the SCL of I2C with SCL of Atmega32 chip which is PC0 and we have to grind, ground the RW pin of LCD. So this is the simple connection mechanism of our setup. Now let's look on to the coding part of this. As an additional thing, I have used two separate header files as I2C header file and a LCD I2C header file which has its own function to stimulate the LCD screen in I2C stimulation. This LCD header file is slightly different from the other LCD header files because it works in the I2C mode but it can perform all the functions performed by the other mode. So as you all know initially I have defined the frequency of CPU and included the AVR input output header and the utility delay header. And also, you can find all the header files and the code file along with the Proteus stimulation file in the description given below. Now, let's look on to our main function. In our main function, we are calling the I2C init code to initiate the I2C module and I2C start to start the I2C module. And I2C write code will start writing the commands we send to it. And in this infinite loop, we have use the LCD command 0 x 8 0 to initiate the LCD and switch on the LCD and we are using the LCD message code to send strings or uh, characters to the screen so using this single code we can either print strings or characters and the LCD command 0 x c 0 is used to send the cursor to the second line other than that, the LCD CMD 0x01 is used to clear the screen. You can use all the relevant hexadecimal values in this LCD command as 
usual. Now let's look onto the stimulation process. So this is our code which we are going to write on our microchip. For this code, I have included two separate header files which I have attached below. So you can add those header files by pressing over this icon and right click over it, press add and press on add as existing item and you can select the, these two header files and press add from the location where you downloaded it. Since I have already included those header files, I uh, don't press this add. So let's build our project. Since there are no any errors and warning, we are good to go. This is our port Proteus setup where we are going to test our code. We are going to load the hex file into the chip and we make sure the connection is right. And yes, it's working properly as we coded. So I hope this method would help you to save many pins to your project. By using this method, you can easily connect this LCD with only two pins and use the other pins for other input output verifiers. So guys, hope this video is helpful for you all. If you love the feeds we do, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.